What is your personal brand? What do you stand for? What is really important to you? Because brand is not a logo on a, on a, on a PowerPoint slide deck or on your business card. Your brand is your reputation. It's as, as a matter of fact, it's more than that. It's actually known, let's skip to the next one here, as every interaction that people have with you, whether that be in person, online, at the gym, training, whatever the case, every interaction that people have with you is what defines your brand. And when you start to understand that, you can begin to craft that very carefully and do something meaningful in terms, instead of doing something accidental. If you want to build a company or build a business or build a brand that stands out, you've got to do that intentionally. Does that make sense? What do the interactions, what, the, what happens from the first moment you meet someone, what are those interactions conveying? What message are they sending? What brand are they building? From the first hello, <laughs> how are you, to now we're working together, to now we're reaching out, what is the, 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 the story that you're trying to weave what is the outcome you're trying to produce? You need to be that intentional. That's how you stand out. The ones that focus on building a story and focus on their customer experience. They focus on what are people, what am I gonna do for people as we journey together and how do I want them to feel along the way? What do I want them to believe along the way? Are you following me? You're creating a story. It's like you're writing this, this, this phenomenal story that people get engrossed in and they can't put the book down. Right? When you think of the brands that you love to work with or that you love to use or that you frequent or you've become loyal to, it's because they've done just that. They've crafted their customer experience very, very carefully. Now, you're very blessed because you're part of an organization that provides a lot of this stuff for you, am I right? Right? You're, you're not like the average person try, trying to start a, a fitness business who basically has to build everything from scratch. Right? When I built my coaching business, I had to build everything from scratch. And it was a lot of hard work. And now when team members join our team, they have support systems, they have a message, they have, they have materials, they have programs, they have pricing, they have all this stuff that's all been worked out for them. And even a coaching path for every client. This is what you do in session number one. This is what you do in session number two. This is how you interact with them in session three. Why? Because we're trying to create a story and an experience that will lead to transformation. And we put a lot of thought into it. 